Okay, so let's go in and take a look at the settings, the general settings in regards to the active desktop calendar, where we'll take a look at in regards to calendar, the notes, the alarm, the contacts and so on, their setups has to be done in the settings. So let's go in and take a look where we find that and how we set that up. Welcome back everyone. This is class number seven. We will look at settings in this class and I assume that the people who is returning have looked at my prior classes. I'm thinking here about the download of the program, the installation of the program and setup, the registration of the program, the navigation in regards to navigating the program, then the desktop layout picker, how that works, and then the data integration visit, how that works. And now we are down at seven where we go in and look at settings. And we have been there before because remember when we set up the desktop layout picker, we had to go into the settings to go in and enable the view of the notes, task, and calendar that we see here because when the program got installed and we started up, these things were not on the desktop. They were not enabled, so they were not visible here. But you had to go to settings to set it up and that's where we'll go now we'll take a closer look at settings because that is really the core and the control panel for the whole desktop calendar here so when we want to start up the setup we can do it from different places and, and, and I've mentioned so many times in my classes I have an active desktop here on my desktop I have one down on my taskbar in the quick launch and if the active desktop calendar is running it will be down here on the right side where you can see there is a small 14 with this page and that's because I've set it up to be like that that is the date today but you could also see it by if you move the mouse over to the note and the task if you click on the right side of the mouse you can see that there are some menu points coming up here it says exit menu open calendar and add new notes and it only comes up if the active desktop calendar is running and I can go down here and turn it off by going down to the taskbar here at notification click on the right side of the mouse and say exit it takes a few seconds and it's turned off and if I go over here again and hover over the notes here and I click on the right side you will see that the menu that is coming up here the menu points have changed because now what you do is you are able now to set up your screen resolutions and personalize your desktop and so on but it had nothing to do with your active desktop calendar so we have to get the active desktop calendar up running again so if I click on that down here on my taskbar at quick launch then what will come up here is of course two windows one is the active desktop calendar default that's coming up and then here that is the notes of five days view is coming up and as you can see here I can minimize the default calendar by doing that up here but in regards to my notes the five days view I can either keep it place it somewhere on my screen if I have multiple monitors I can take it away put it somewhere else in my case here I'll just close it I'll do that and then in regards to my default calendar here I'll put that up in the left corner here so that I have standing here and the settings we can see is found here on the shortcuts we have settings here we could have gone down to the taskbar down in the right corner where we can see down here is the small date here with a 14 where it says active desktop I click on the right side and you can see here I could have pressed settings here and the settings is like I said is the control panel and in here we we have to set certain things up when we start using the program. We have been in here before, like I said, when we went into the desktop layout picker because we couldn't see the calendar on our desktop. We couldn't see the notes and the tasks. So what we did, we went in here and we checked them off and then we went down and say apply and then we could see them. If we remove these and say apply, then our information on our desktop will disappear. So these normally has to be checked off here and then say apply. Also, what we can do here is that we can define in regards to do we want the desktop to start up when we start up Windows? Are there other things we want to do in regards to here, for instance, notes, how to delete older notes than so and so many days? How many notes do we want to display the next 120 days or more? In regards to the interaction with the desktop, in regards to the mouse click and getting somewhere do we want that to be a double click or do we want that to be a single mouse click for me I normally say a double mouse click because I don't want to have stuff open by mistakes but it's up to you also here you can see the calendar standard the first day of a week we can define that you can see this is set to Monday but some perhaps starts the Saturday or Sunday you can see the time format 
because when you're in Europe, you have a 24 hours, but if you are in the US, mostly they are running with a 12 hour clock here with AM and PM. There's other things here. When we go into the notes and taskbar, you can see in here, that's where we adjust where we want our notes and taskbar placed on our screen, the size and position of it. We can adjust that here. If we go up to the calendar appearance, we can control the calendar in regards to the horizontal placing of it and the vertical placing of it. Then also, do we want the calendar to be there when we exit the program? Some says no, because that if the calendar disappears and I the program is exit, then I know it's not up running. That's a way of seeing it also. Instead of putting the mouse over here and click on the right mouse button, if the calendar is not up, then we must assume that that active desktop calendar is not started. There is so many things here that can be set up, controlled by fonts, colors, and so on, that it will take a long long time for me to go through every single thing here. What I want to do is just to make you aware where you can find information in regards to the settings here. When you go up here and let's say OK here, and then we go up here to our calendar and we go up to help and we say help or we're going to press F1 or we're going to go down here again to our taskbar in the notification. If we click on the right side, you will see down here you have help here. So if I click help, then help will come up and here is the help and you can see here that here you can see different places you can get help and the one we want to look at is the settings we just are talking about the settings so if I click in settings you can see here they are lined up in regards to our tabs the general tab the notes task option tab and so on so if I went in here again and let me do that and call up my settings move it over here minimize click here on my desktop here or on my browser, click here on my browser. And then you can see here, when you see the tabs over here, here's the tab. So if I am on a general tab and I want to know something about exit program ads and pop up and so on, then I can go in on the general. And then if I go down, I take the elevator down here and then I go down and find out in regards to the optimization here, exit program, and it tells you a little bit about what it will do when you either check it off, what it means in regards to the time here and so on. Everything that you see here in the taskbar, if you're in doubt of anything that is in the taskbar, then go in to help. That will help you really. So that you just go up here, just make it back again and then say, yeah, but I am right now in contacts. Ah, that's not so much, but let's say a calendar appearance. I have here dual monitor. Ah, that's not that difficult. But replicate wallpaper, what does that mean? Okay, so let me go over here. We were on the, the calendar appearance, so we go on the calendar appearance, and we go down and find in regards to the replica here, and they say here, when this option is enabled, you will get the same wallpaper on both screens in dual monitor. So that means if you have one wallpaper here, that can be replicated to the other screen. If you have two screens or three screens, or how many you have. So that's the way it works. So now we have taken a look at the settings. The next video we'll take a look at is the setup of data layers. That is very important. So I hope to see you guys back again. I hope this class gave you a little bit of a view in regards to the settings and where you go to find it and how you set it up and where you can find help. See you soon.